Hi my dear students today we are going to talk about mummies do you know about mummies okay let us see okay a mummy is a dead human or an animal whose soft tissues and organs have been preserved by either intentional or accidental exposure to chemicals extreme cold very low humidity or lack of air so that the recovered body does not decay further if kept in cool and dry conditions some authorities restrict the use of the term to bodies deliberately emplaced with chemicals but the use of the word to cover accident accidentally desiccated bodies goes back to at least 1600 and 1615 ad mummies of human and animals have been found on every continent but both as a result of natural preservation through unusual conditions and as cultural artifacts over 1 million animal mummies have been found in egypt many of which are cats many of the egyptian animal mummies are scaled epis and radiocarbon dating suggested the egyptians epis mummies that have been analyzed were from time frame that falls between approximately 450 and 250 bc in addition to the mummies of egypt ancient egypt deliberating mummification was a feature of several ancient cultures in areas of america and asia with very dry climate the spirit cave mummies of fallen nevada in north america were accurately dated at more than 9000 9400 years old before this discovery the oldest known deliberate mummy was a child one of the sinkoro mummies found in the camaronos valley chile which dates around 5050 BC the oldest known naturally mummified human corpse is a served head dated as 6000 years 6000 years old found in 1936 AD at the site named Inca Cuba number 4 in South America so what is the story behind the mummies We know that mummification or preserve a body for a afterlife was developed by ancient Egypt who believed that soul lives on after a person has died. They believed that a mummified body of a person was a place or house for the spirit of the person to return to the body after death. In case of Egyptian mummies, Egyptian mummies it was very important to ancient egyptian religious religious beliefs that the human body was preserved a method of artificial preservation called what mummification that's what's developed by the ancient egyptians mummification was a complicated and lengthy process which lasted up to 70 days so how were mummies made how were mummies made it took a very long time from start to finish it took about 70 days to emplam a body the priest in charge would wear the mask of a jackal representing the uh, god anubis first born the body was washed and purified and second they doing what organs were removed only the heart remained okay and third step the body was filled with the stuffing okay and the fourth step the body was dried by covering 
it with a substance that's called what natron okay this substance absorbs all the moisture from the body and the fifth step after 40 to 50 days the stuffing was removed and replaced with lime or so just okay and the sixth step the body was wrapped in strand of linen and covered in a sheet called a shroud and the last step the body was placed in a stone coffin we call a sarcophagus so the mummy was now ready for its journey to the after life so what is this natron natron is a natural salt composed of sodium carbonate and sodium bicarbonate with tracks of sodium chloride and sodium sulfate it was used by the ancient egyptians to dry out the bodies so why did they leave the herd in the body any idea okay the egyptian stored the herd was the center of intelligence and emotions okay so these are all about what in our egyptian mummies okay and next is the small mummies of papua new guinea so here part of the mummification process involves smoking the mummies for at least 30 days smoke mummification is not only practiced in kong village here smoke mummies sit in a hut in the village of eva mummification has wanted after missionaries discouraged the practice in the 1950s in papua new guinea different generations reflect different attitude towards the practice and the spirit evolve in children while the grandparents may believe in the practice middle aged people tend to and show about the spirit world and the mummification practice okay so these all are about what the mummifications is it clear okay. so next we are going to discussing airlines and airlines is a company that provide air transport services for traveling passengers and freight airlines utilize aircraft to supply these services and may for partnership or alliance with other airlines for quarter shares agreements in which they both offer and operate the same flight and generally airlines companies are recognized with an air operating certificate or license issued by a governmental aviation body airlines mean be scheduled or chartered operators the first airlines was the german airships companies delag from in 16th november 1999 the fourth oldest known airship airlines that still exists in the netherlands scale m and columbia avenica australia capnas and the chess republics chess airlines so these are all about what airlines so dear students in your textbook there is given some airlines and their logos so to understand the logos and the airlines okay i hope all of you understood about this topic okay thank you